Well, because my yard happens to be such a wonderful wildlife refuge, uh, I get all kinds of visitors. Uh, today, the, the dogs informed me that we had a, uh, with their turtle bark, that we have a nice, and as you can see from the legs, fat, and trust me, if you mess with them, grumpy, and as you can tell by the tail, which is long, alligator snapping turtle. While very common in the southeast, uh, these are now, uh, what is it, concern, a species of concern because they have been getting hunted and sent over to South Korea and China and places like that because they make good eating. If you look, you'll see there's some mighty awesome digger claws on this young. This is a young one. They can get up to about three foot, almost four foot long in the shell. Uh, I have run across them. The thing about these critters, and something to remember, is that the neck is almost as long as its shell. It's about two-thirds the length. They can't pull their whole body in this shell. Uh, he, they call these moss backs because they get algae all over their back, and it's good for their shell to have the algae. This one, no doubt, came out of my little creek that runs on my land. And being as he's in my yard, or she, this could be the mama of the baby I've been raising for the past couple of years, uh, needs relocated. Uh, these aren't a turtle you typically want to mess with. Yeah, but if you know how, there's an easy trick to it, and that is their weak spot right back there. It's called the tail. You go grab this baby by the shell on the sides like you would any regular turtle and it will reach around and latch a set of jaws as powerful as iron on your wrist, hand, whatever it can reach. And it will flat take a hunk out of you. Uh, they are known to separate fingers from bodies, uh, life and limb and all that good stuff. A very aggressive turtle. Uh, they don't call it a snapping turtle for nothing. Uh, they, wait, they If we could open its mouth, we'd see where it's got what looks like a little worm for a tongue at the tip of the tongue. It sits at the bottom of the lake or pond or creek, wiggles that thing and hopes that a fish will swim in. And one often does. Some will get in there, think it's a worm, that's it, snap. It's done. Now, I have down back there at the edge of my land a suitable place for releasing this big monster. Because it's a bigger one than, uh, than I like dealing with. Uh, leads down in the swamp. What can I say? But we shall see what happens. They typically do not like people messing with them. Like uh, as you see that neck, and you see them jaws. I really don't want to hurt the poor thing. I feel the damn tail vertebrae kind of popping. And as you can see, once they get mad, that's it. It's like game on. Because he's got such weight, or she's got such weight. I could feel the uh, tail joints popping a little bit, you know, just like snapping a finger joint. I'm going to go get something to cart this critter in. As you see, I have an excellent attraction for these kind of guys. This may be the one that's been living in my pond I've been trying to get rid of put it out back in them woods which leads down to the swamp but in this case what we're going to do is take Mr. Wheelbarrow 
single-handed because I got to operate a camera while I'm doing all this stuff. And because YouTube got rid of my video editors, I can't patch two YouTube videos together. This makes a real pain in my ass. Thank you, YouTube, for taking away one of the few tools I actually did use. We in business now. God damn, I hate running a wheelbarrow with one hand. See, that's the other thing. It don't matter if you got family, you will do it yourself. <laughs> I don't give a damn what it is. But anyway, back to our troublesome critter, who no doubt is in a bad mood. And as you see, I go for the tail each and every time. Little snapping turtle gonna get a ride. Look at him watching me. He would like to come up here and bite my hand. They are an aggressive turtle. Look at him. Little mouth opening up. He's like, oh yeah. I'm coming after you, man. I'm trying to save you a pain in the ass, turtle. Literally. I don't want to sprain your little spine joints. Look at him. He just sitting there ready and waiting. Hey, here we go. And, cause everybody wanna see a little action. Here we go. Get the stick. Hey, you see how quick that he is? Get the stick. See, he snapped that stick right off. Yep. Just a little rotten. <coughs> That one got a little more oomph. Yeah, that stick didn't taste too good. It tastes like a stick, didn't it? And here we go. Hello. Hello, get the stick. Get that out your mouth. Great. Yeah, me reaching down there with hands. Real smart. Get the stick. Get the stick. You don't like this stick. You don't like that stick. You don't like this stick. It's poking at you, man. Get the stick. Look, it's hitting you in the nose. It's getting you under the chin. Coochie, coochie, coo. Get the stick. Yeah, there you go. Get the stick. Show them how big and bad you are. Come on, you can do better than that. I want to see a piece of it missing. As you can see, oh, he don't like that at all. Look at him raise up his butt. Look at that, raise up the butt. We is in full turtle attack mode now, man. Just, it's, yeah, that is what I call full on turtle attack mode. He's like, oh, don't touch me on the head. You making me mad. Get that stick, get that shit. Look, I'm poking your foot. I'm poking your foot. I'm poking that foot, get that stick. Come on, get that stick, get that stick. I swear, I usually don't have to coax them like this, come on. There you go. I seen better. Ooh, yeah, see, see. It's like, oh, don't touch me. Don't don't even get touch me in behind. I will get mad. Look how mad he get. I'm tapping him on the back. He's like, oh no, hell no. He said, I know it's you doing it. 
I know it's you silly monkey mucking with me. He may even see his reflection in the lens. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle, the turtle. Tickle, tickle, the turtle. Hey, tickle, tickle, the turtle. I touch you on the top of the head. Look at that, how he rears up. He does not like being touched on top of the head. I get you under the neck. I get you under the neck. He'll give you a little scratchy scratch. My dog likes it. Why don't you? See? It ain't all bad. He said, I don't care if it ain't all bad or not. I'm pissy. I'm an alligator snapping turtle. And I will eat your eyes off. I will. Look at them claws, man. Good, what, inch long? I wish I'd get it. Just, sorry about that. Didn't want to get you in the eye there. There you go. Get this stick. Get this stick. Get this stick. That's right. Get that old stick. That stick getting you. Look at old silly over here getting jealous. Like, oh, you petting a turtle and you won't pet me. Trust me. You a good little turtle. Bite. Very good. Yeah, I'm tapping you. I'm tapping you. I wish he'd run his neck all the way out. Look at all that slack in the skin, you see. Let me tell you, that turtle can about reach to where my hand is at if he really wanted to. He certainly could. Their neck is long. They cannot put all that. Look how fat it is. This is why they say there's seven different kinds of meat to eat on a snapping turtle. It, meaning that some of it tastes like turkey and chicken and beef and cow and pig and fish. It all depending on which cut you get. And you see how fat it is. These things have a thick yellow fat. But they are a favorite of the old... Old southern farmers down here. I knew one he'd take, he'd round these fellows up whenever he found one on his pasture land, put it in a pen, save them all up. Every month or two, he'd have himself a turtle soup. Yeah, turtle soup. And he would have loved you. He looked like you would taste good. But, uh, too bad we don't have smell o vision Let me tell you, this thing smells like uh, the bottom of a pond. Uh, the remnants of a creek. And as you can see, he is a uh, really pretty eyes. But he is about, this fella is about as vicious as they, they come. You want true reptile. You want dinosaur. This fella here, you looking at one. And they will flat eat you. And look, he getting ready, he thinking about pouncing. Breathing hard, but he raising that head. Yeah, look at him. You, you ain't getting out the wheelbarrow like that. I ain't sure it looked like a small leech on his neck. Could be. But these are uh, strictly pond mud turtles. They don't live on the land. She has probably come out to lay her eggs. And uh, that's why I found her out in the yard. And she really don't need to be doing that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Boom. Just in case you thought that they couldn't flip themselves over. Riley? No. You see you see our silly dogs. He will bite. His critter will flat bite bite. His name means bite. Now, as you can see. Now, now, you can take and grasp them by their hind legs, both hind legs, and pick them up, which is probably no more stressful. 
as you can see, I mean, this thing ain't even near let its nick out. Man, it's ready. But, boom. There we go. Look at it, trying to come back. Say, I want to come back and eat your toes. I will ambush you tonight. Fortunately, that fence is too thick. There is a stream. This leads to a swamp and a pond. And that turtle will be very, very happy back in there. Much happier than my frogs are in here with the turtle living in the pond. And them turtles, well, all that fat didn't come from nothing. And there ain't no fish in here. So, trust me, snakes and frogs. That's, that's what that turtle lived on. Snakes and frogs. I'm glad I finally got it out. Maybe I'll have a better year with the amphibians this time. But it's going to take another season or so to know for sure. I notice they ain't been near the leopards and bullfrogs. And, uh, just nothing in the green tree frog range, but that might be the snakes. Never know around here. Anyway, that's all for the southern special. I'm going back inside. 85 degrees with a 90% humidity. I'll leave that for the grass-eating dogs. <laughs>